Hello friends, welcome to the Java Tricky Program series. So let's see what we have for today. So this is one of the program with where we have this increment and decrement operators. And usually you find these type of questions in online quizzes. And if you are not really careful, it's really hard to get the final result. So what we have here? So we have this class a1 where we are having this static int i as 100 then there is a static block where we are using this decrement operator and then there is a non-static block and then we have this class b1 which is extending a1 this also has one static and one non-static block finally we have this main class where we are creating object of b1 and printing the value of i. So uh, usually the question asked is like what will be the value of i here? So what will this one print? So here we have to understand two things. First is with the increment and decrement operators. So this minus minus is the decrement operator and plus plus is called as increment operator. But if it is prefixed such as plus plus i, then the value is incremented first and then it is used in the expression. If it is postfix like i plus plus, then the value will be populated first and then it will be incremented by 1. So final result of i will be same but in expression the values will be different. So we will get through these but before that we have to understand another concept. So when we are saying that create an object of b1 so how the code flow will go. So first of all since b1 is extending a1 so if there is anything static in a1 that will get executed. So first of all this static block will get executed. So let's mark this as 1. After that any static block in b1 will get executed. So this block will be the second one. Then anything non-static block in a1 will be executed. So this will be the third block that will get executed and finally any non-static block in b1 get executed so this will be the fourth block now so what will be the final value so let's see this so in block 1 we have this value of i as 100 so in this statement let's just put it in brackets for easy understanding. So here the first expression i minus minus will be evaluated first and then decremented. So the here the value will be 100 and then the i value will become 99. So it will be 100 minus and then we have prefix decrement operator. So here the it will first decrement the value and then evaluate. So it will be 99 minus 1. So hence 98. That will be 2. So in this line the value of i is 2. So here it should print a1 static i is equal to 2. Then the code will go to this block. Here the value is 2. So similarly for minus minus i what will happen? So obviously it will first decrement and then the value will be put here. So it will be 1 and then minus 1 because this is post fixed. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So here it should print i as 0. Now come to third block. So here the value is 0. So it will be 0 and then incremented to 1. So 0 plus and then prefixed. 
so 1 plus 1 2 so it will be 2 here finally in fourth block since it is prefixed so it will become 3 plus then postfix so it will be 3 so that will be equal to 6 so finally our value should print as 6 let's just run this program and figure out okay so let's run this program so since I have made some changes so it is asking to save it. so as we saw it is first printing 2 and then in the second block it is printing as a 0 and then the value is going to 2 in third block and in the fourth one the final value is 6 and hence the final value is printing as 6 so hopefully this uh, simple program which looks simple but actually is not so simple will help you in tackling any questions related to increment and decrement operators in any quizzes or interview questions yeah thank you thanks for watching bye bye